For any Xbox or PlayStation codes or cheap games on any platform, use the referral link in the description. It'll take you to G2A.com. Use the promo code CHEZ over there and you'll get yourself 3% cash back. Also, I've got a new merchandise store, hats, hoodies and new tee designs all available right now on the link in the description. Hey guys, welcome to episode number 47 of My Player here on FIFA 17. Severe Away is the first game of the episode, a rather large tie. We're currently sat third in the league, trying to chase down those above us in Real Madrid and Atletico Madrid. And the second game of the episode is against Hetafe, the final two games of the month of December before we head into the rather busy month of January. The vote was completed and you guys have uh, decided that we will stay here at Sevilla until the end of this second season before moving elsewhere. So we have the opportunity to try our best to win La Liga with a small side and to do as best as we possibly can in the Champions League with a small side as well. So we will try and do exactly that, starting with uh, this game against Sevilla. Do drop the video a thumbs up if you enjoy. Subscribe to the channel too to make sure you don't miss out on any further content. There was a career mode vote went up yesterday with regards to the upcoming co-op career mode with my friend Kieran. And uh, obviously there's been plenty of other uh, Cambridge United career mode and uh, Road to Glory on Ultimate Team footage as well. Most notably last night, the uh, Foot Champions Adventures of the previous weekend but without any further ado let's jump into this my player game against Sevilla. Hi there, ball down the line by Sanabria towards the onrushing left back here and Alex Martinez crosses the ball and he's going to find Zuzulia. Well you could have volleyed that with your feet rather than going with the head but never mind decent ball in in fact very good ball in it's just a shame that it was wasted by the uh, striker Tolo. Driving inside, but where's he going to go? He's got a number of options. Sevilla pushed a lot of bodies forward here. He's been yet a lovely round the wall on the... Oh, Ganso's hit the side netting. Lovely ball round the corner to him. But Ganso's shot brushes the side netting. Sevilla's first chance of the game is very well created. They're clearly going all out for the win here because there was... As the ball was about 40 yards out, there was four people on the edge of the box waiting to receive a pass. Sevilla desperate to win this, but equally, so are we. Diga. Tackled by Ibarra, but Digas should win the battle of strength and has done. Alex Martinez will find me. We'll go back to him. Left back pushing forward. Oh, that wasn't far away at all. Popping in, popping up in a central attacking midfield role, Alex Martinez, and hit that first time. You can see the movement in it from that replay. Was headed on target, and then the air in the ball just swished around, and it moved from uh, left to right, or right to left, as we were looking from the replay. Left to right, as you were looking from the shot. And unfortunately, it swayed past the goal, but that would have been one hell of a first-time hit if it had flown in the back of the net. Big ping down the line, looking for Lever, who brings it down very well. Myself and Cezulia are here in the middle. Now use me. We've got past the defender. I could return it to Lever. I just got shot. Was from behind, but I don't think it'll be a red card. It should just be a yellow, and is. Free kick, however, in a very good position. What can Sanabria do from it here? Not much power on it. Over the wall. Oh, wow. Not far away at all. Headed towards that top left-hand corner, but just past the post. Munoz into Ganso. Peñera's making moves, but Ganso just ran straight into Petzela. And Digar's giving it straight back to them, and then won it back again, and then lost it again. Ibora, two options in front of him. Oh, he's going to use Benyeda, and he will not give them a 1-0 lead. Good save down low by Kaminsky. Cheeky little back heel to get it back in the box, but it should be cleared away and is. Chances at both ends so far in this game, but no goals. Conor Pianca with a cross. Benyeda's underneath it. Straight at the keeper again. Sevilla creating a number of chances here in the final 10 minutes of the second half, but they can't score. Across there to Zazulia. It's not been the best of games for me so far. Win that tackle though. And the second one, I'm just going to hit it because I'm getting pretty frustrated at myself. And that is one of the best goals we've ever scored. It's definitely the furthest goal out we've ever scored. From 30 plus yards, we bury it in the back of the net. I've done nothing all game. Throw myself into that tackle, win the next one, get the ball under control and just hit it. Keeper no chance, right into the bottom corner, very, very accurate. It's Betis 1, Sevilla 0, and that is the furthest distance we've ever scored from in this save. 30 plus yards. Wow, I did not see that coming. So, Ben Yedda, Juan Munoz, to Ganso. Ben Yedda is there, but he can't find him. He's found Juan Munoz though, and he's very nearly instantly brought Sevilla back level. Thankfully, Kaminsky's made another good save. He's had to make a number of them in this game so far because Sevilla have created chance after chance after chance. Danny Caballos has come on for Petros in the middle. So we have a change in the centre of our midfield. Cristoforo has come on as well for them. Juan Munoz gets that under control. It might still drop to a Sevilla man. It's dropped to Colin Zizak. Keeper again saves. 
not the most orthodox of saves either, but he does get it away. And Zuzulia could actually set up some sort of counter-attack here. I'm going to call for a through ball from Martin. He's played me in. I am going to need some support. Zuzulia is arriving. I'm going to try a burber spin here. Get inside one defender. Pass it in there to the other. Martin gets the shot in, but Sergio Asenjo makes a very good save. Wow. Nearly 1-1. Nearly 2-0. We'll stay at just one goal to nil, though, with 20 minutes to go. Gets the turn in, finds me. I'm sorely tempted to go for another long shot. We'll give it to Zazulia. Oh, he's returned it to me, and the shot's deflected. Asenho, oh, gets there at the second time of asking before it can sweep at home. This game's coming alive now towards the latter stages of this second half. We might see more goals. Steven Zonzi into Konoplyanka. Plyanka. Feeds in Ben Yedda. Wissam Ben Yedda draws another good save out of Kaminsky. That's four, five, six saves Kaminsky's made in this game so far to keep Sevilla out. If we get the win from this... We definitely deserve to uh, give the goalkeeper the man of the match award, although he couldn't hold on to that one. Another save, though. Minute and a half left. Throw for Crone Daly. Option is Conor Plianka. Crone Daly will get it in there to Kiyotake. Back to Crone Daly. Into the box. Away by Bruno. Only as far as man on the edge here, Mercado. Gets it to Juan Munoz. Has the shot. And saved again by Kaminsky. Hunter clear. I'm going to try and flick this on if I can, but Steven Zons is much taller than me. Conor Plyanka into Crone Daly to Ben Yedda. Looking for the worldie, but it's over the top of the bar. I think that might just be the last chance. Leiva into Stojilkovic. After all the chances Sevilla have had, 10 in total, as you can see, top left. Can we end it with a goal to make it two? Cross comes in. Leiva's there. We are. We do not deserve a two-goal scoreline, but that is exactly what we're going to get. Time after time, Sevilla threw shots towards our goal. Time after time, our keeper saved them. And with a goal from 30-plus yards and one from three yards, we take a 2-0 scoreline from this one and we'll be taking all three points back home. And will that put us joint top of the table? We'll have to wait and see. Atleti still yet to play, I think, this match weekend. We will go back above Real Madrid and into second, but it depends what happens for Atleti in this game weekend. We got a 7.8 overall. I did nothing until I scored the goal and then actually we were quite heavily involved. But one shot from uh, a long way out. I'm not too sure how to actually find out how far out that was. So will it be in... I want match stats. Match facts. Does it say how far out? It only says the minute, doesn't it? It doesn't say how far out it was. It's a hell of a long way though, to be completely honest. I'm not sure. 31, 32, 33 yards was definitely 30 plus, and Atleti drew. That may have just put us top of La Liga. That draw against Villarreal may have thrown us to the top of the pile. We'll have to wait and see. We've got Hatafe coming up next in the second game of the episode as we head towards the January transfer window that, as we say, we won't be moving in. We'll have a quick train as well. Any stats go up? Long shots might go up. Not that I'm sure that will affect our overall at all, even if it does. And it has done, and oh, it has slightly, but only ever so slightly. Creeping towards 78 rated now at the end of season number two, or well, halfway through season number two even. Where are we in the table? We are top of La Liga. Goal difference of plus 25. It is done on head-to-head -head first in La Liga before uh, goal difference or goal scored. So I can't remember what the scoreline was when we played Atleti, but we must have beaten them because we're above them. Unless we drew with them and then it is done on goal difference. I'm not sure. Hatafe next though, and that's the most important thing. Let's try and get three points again. This is Elliot. On the run, I'll get out of the way. And he's still going and he feeds me in and bang, that's top corner. 1-0 after 10 minutes. Really good finish actually. Uh, had to be hit first time. Zazulia just fed it into my path brilliantly. And all I needed to do was find that top corner and we were guaranteed a 1-0 lead. And that is exactly what we got. So Zulia lays it into me. Crack. You ain't stopping that, my man. Not a chance. 1-0 Betis. Damian Suarez down the line to Buendia. Inside to Skopovic. Down the line to Damian Suarez again. This is a good move by Hatafe. Can he find a ball into a teammate? He's found a ball in to a teammate and they've equalised. Really nice move by Hatafe. Extremely good goal, very well worked, and the man in the middle just got away from the defenders, found himself with some space, and buried it in the bottom corner. Sevilla had double digits worth of efforts in the first game, couldn't score. Hatafe have one, it's in the back of the net. 1-1. One, one. Great header, bring that down, turn it around the corner. Zazulia. Options. There's Petros, and he's played me in. Uh, I'll return it to Petros. He'll shoot, blocked. Could drop to Degar, no, headed clear to the edge of the box, but Zazulia brings it down. I'll call for it. I'm not going to get it from him, but I will from Demisi. We'll return it to him. Demisi with the effort and wide of the post. Chances at both ends, still level at 1-1.
Coutinho into Diga. Coutinho again, over the top, looking for the run of Lever, who wins that header. That has to be hit for... Wow, that begged to be hit first time, and I think that was actually on target and headed towards the back of the net. Great technique, and it was on target. If only that defender wasn't in the way. The keeper may have saved it. If not, that would have been probably the best goal I've ever scored on any FIFA ever. Ball comes in. Can I win this header? Uh, I'm not sure who won that, but it's going to be the defender that gets it away, but not very far. Win that header, says. I didn't win that one either. Nice tackle by Demisi on Damian Suarez. In there to Petros. I'm going to come short. Petros might not need me. He's used me. We'll help it around the corner to Pacheco. Into the box. Petros wide. Oh, didn't get enough on it. We could have had quite the lead here already if we'd been able to take our chances. Yoda. Oh, it's a lovely ball looking for Riera, who's in behind. For Ta oh, for Tafe to take the lead. Awful attempt straight at the keeper. Had enough room there to maybe take it on a couple of paces as well. Seemingly had the legs on the defender. Took the early shot. That nah, clearly a mistake. Sapanaru trying to create something else for Hatafe here. Into Lassen. Gets tackled by Bruno, though. That was another good opportunity had he been able to get a secondary pass off, but he wasn't able to. Eight minutes to go. 1 1. I'm on this free kick, apparently. Don't really know why. 39 yards. That's too far out to shoot, isn't it? I won't be greedy. Let's float it into the middle. See if a teammate can get on the end of it. And maybe we can get a second goal. A teammate did get on the end of it, but unfortunately, it went wide of the post. Four minutes to go, 1-1. One, one. Let's see with the turn. Set about pushing a long way forward. Martin into me. Dodgy first touch, but somehow I've come away with possession there. Just try and keep the ball. Might try and squeeze it through there, looking for the man in the middle. And Curtsy finds Demisi, who... Sh oh, couldn't tell where that flightish ball was going. The shot flies wide of the post, though. Just dug it out from under his feet, but it wouldn't quite bend enough to go in that far top corner. Keeper wasn't sure. Unfortunately wide, and into stoppage time we go. Into Dami and Suarez, to Vandenberg again. Hetafe potentially with the last chance of the game to get themselves a goal to win it, although we thought that about Sevilla and their equaliser at the end of the last game, and we ended up going up the other end and scoring another goal. I'd love it if that happened again, but it looks like it is going to be Hetafe that run out the minutes in this bottom corner, but will it end with them taking the lead? Cross does come in, it's deflected, drops to Oriol Riera, gets the turn in, drops to Vandenberg, but that is drilled wide, and there goes the final whistle. So a win and a draw for us. Atleti drew. Now, did they win? We get a goal in the game as well, again, which is good. But what did Atleti do? They haven't played. OK, they're probably playing on the Sunday, presumably then. So we're not sure whether we are still top of the table or whether that draw will actually see Atleti go two points clear of us again should they win on the Sunday. We will have to wait and see. But that is the uh, end of the episode. Thank you very much for watching. Do drop the video a like if you enjoyed, of course. And subscribe to the channel too to make sure you don't miss out on any further content. There will be, of course, plenty. <laughs> well, basically two videos every day now, I think, with all the ver various different series I'm uploading currently. So there's plenty to be seen if you check the channel page for anything you've missed. But for now, that's all from me. Thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you next time.